Concealment Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about our Python gun belts. So let's jump right in. First we have our cowhide belt. This is uh, two layers of premium grade cowhide stitched together. Gives you a good solid platform. Um, removable buckle on all of our belts. So you can just unsnap them. You can replace it with any buckle you want on there. It comes with a very nice uh, brass nickel plated um, buckle that'll last you quite a while and those guys start at $54.99 uh, moving on we have the uh, kydex reinforced belts now these guys you'll notice right off the bat it's a much stiffer belt um, looks the same and what it is is we've got a layer of kydex that has been sandwiched between the leather you can see right here it, it ends right where the buckle starts to go through or the belt starts to go through the buckle and that way it, it feeds nicely through there. You don't have anything real stiff that doesn't want to go through a buckle. Um, good solid platform, very rigid. Um, these are a great belt. Uh, very, very good for con concealed carry and, uh, and open carry as well. These guys start at $74.99. And then we have our new uh, horsehide belts. Same basic construction, it's a double leather layer. Um, you have the cowhide on the outside, and then you have the horsehide that's stitched on the inside. Now, this is going to offer superior comfort and performance. Um, they're a lot stiffer than the regular cowhide belts. Here's a, a cowhide belt, the horsehide belt. Um, the, the cowhide belts are good, they're much nicer than anything you're going to find at any department store as far as uh, something that's going to perform well while you're carrying. But you can see it's a little softer, a little more supple, does not quite provide the same support that, uh, that the horse hide does. The horse hide also gives you exceptional durability features. Um, and with the horse hide we offer in an inch and a half, which is what that is. And the, the inch and a half guys, they start at $99.99. And we've now offered an inch and a quarter same construction, horse hide on the inside, the cow on the outside, uh, removable buckle. Um, the reason we, we've offered an inch and a quarter is in a lot of situations, um, if you work in a professional environment where you're you know, at least uh, business casual, if not in a suit and tie, the inch and a half belts just don't quite look right. Um, they, don't, they don't work uh, as far as uh, they stand out. It, that it looks out of place. An inch and a quarter belt looks much nicer um, when you're dressed up and things like that. People aren't going to look at your belt and wonder why you've got such a big beefy belt on. Still provides good support that uh, you can carry inside or outside. Um, and these guys start at $89.99. Now, the, all these belts come in five different colors. See if you can see those. You got the, your your traditional black, dark brown, light brown, burgundy, and tan. So hopefully that's going to cover most of your needs as far as belt colors go and things like that. And then one quick thing before we finish, uh, let's talk about properly sizing your belt because that's important. Um, the easiest way to get a good measurement is if you have a soft uh, tailor's tape. Um, you know, you might have to go into your wife's sewing room, it's okay. Um, use one of these, tuck your gun inside your waistband. Don't, you don't need to have a belt on, in fact it's better if you don't. You don't even need to use a holster. Just kind of tuck it into your waistband, make sure it's unloaded, it's safe, you know the, you know the routine. Um, and then wrap this around your waist and, and get, a, get a measurement. And uh, all of our belts come in even numbers. Uh, when, you, when you're looking to size your belt, You've got five adjusting holes here. This belt is a 42. So 42 inches is measured from right here, from the end of the leather where the buckle attaches, to this center hole. And so you've got two inches on either side with two different holes that uh, you can go tighter or bigger. So 42 is going to be right here, 43, 44, and going the other way you've got 41 and 40. So when you're sizing your belt, keep that in mind. If you're, 
you measure yourself with your gun in and uh, you're reading, you're, you're measuring like a 41, probably better to go to a 42 if you're going to carry, if you're going to use the belt without your gun inside the waistband from time to time, then you might want to go on the, on the smaller side, to go to a 40 instead of the 42. So that's just the basics on uh, the belt construction and uh, sizing and the color options. So I hope that helps out and thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.